Hey everyone! Today we're opening the Lenovo Legion 9i18 Gen 10. Full reliability tests, display results, benchmarks, and more are on laptopmedia.com. Link below. Let's dive in. We start by removing 11 screws securing the bottom cover. Use a JIS number one screwdriver. All 11 are identical M2 7mm screws. On reassembly, tighten to about 2 kg force centimeters. With a thin plastic pick, release the clips around the edge. A suction cup helps lift the panel cleanly. Done. The bottom plate is off. Cooling here uses four fans, a massive vapor chamber over CPU and GPU, plus dedicated heat sinks for the SSDs and VRAM. Memory. Four user upgradable DDR5 SODIMM slots up to 192 gigabytes. We'll confirm the supported speeds in the full review. For best dual channel performance, populate matched sticks in A2 and B2. Before touching the SSDS, disconnect the battery. Unplug the battery connector and remove its screws. This unit carries a 99.9 .9 watt hour pack. Don't forget to visit and see our top 100 laptops with the best battery life ranking page.
Take off the shield over the three storage bays. These are three M2, 222-80, PCI Express 4x4 slots. Remove the shield over the primary M.2 bay. This one is PCI Express 5x4. Our sample is populated with a Samsung PM9E 12TB drive. Peel back the metalized memory cover. One module, a dash two. Two modules, a dash two and B dash two. Three modules, a dash one, a dash two and B two. Release the side latches and slide the memory module out. We aren't disconnecting this fan cable. It doesn't block service here and avoiding it reduces wear on the header. Wireless module, Intel Killer BE 1750X, Wi-Fi 7, 2x2 with Bluetooth 5.4. That's the inside of the Legion 9 i18 Gen 10, 4 SODIMM slots, 4 M.2 bays with a Gen 5 primary, Wi-Fi 7, and a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery. For thermals and noise under load, the display accuracy and battery life results, check our detailed review on laptopmedia.com. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and tell us what you want to see next.